Welcome to the party, everybody. I'm Mike Graw. This is the Pittsburgh Soccer Podcast on Trib Live Radio. It was an interesting weekend for the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. We'll be getting into all the fallout from Saturday night's matchup against New York Red Bulls 2 throughout the Pittsburgh Soccer Show. Uh, Riverhounds beat writer for the Tribune Review, Matt Grubba, will be joining me a little bit later on. But we're going to focus on the positives around the Riverhounds right now. And to do that, I'm very pleased to be joined in studio by Riverhounds in-game host, Veronica Buccilli, who Pittsburgh sports fans may be familiar with, a familiar face from her days serving in a similar role with the Pittsburgh Power. Yes. And now with the Riverhounds in your first year in this capacity with the Riverhounds, if I'm not mistaken. It is. Yes, and tell it us is. a little bit about what your role is within the organization and what you do for the Hounds. Okay, so um, I am technically the in-game host for the Hounds. So I'm at all the home games. We do halftime, which we do some games and giveaways and fun things with the kids. Um, I'm also, we also do an inside the box, which is like a post-game wrap, or we do like an in-game preview of something. Um, um, we just like to highlight everything that's going on around the club. So not just with the professional players, but we also have the Hounds Academy mm-hmm. um, that we like to talk about. Um, those kids are great, and they've made some amazing accomplishments. We had um, auditions recently and some coming up as well. So basically, we just talk about everything that's going on within the club. Uh, we like to touch on the uh, pub that we have, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the Golden Hound beer that's new this year. So the Inside the Box segment is basically just everything that's going on. It gives fans a quick visual look of what's going on, um, all elements of what we're doing Nice here. look behind the scenes exactly. with the younger kids, not just first team necessarily right. or in game, reca- or mm-hmm. game recaps, yeah. but everything that goes into the organization. Exactly, exactly. Everyone's familiar um, with, you know, whether we win or lose for the most part, but we like to dig in a little deeper and show the fans that there's also other things that the organization is getting their hands into, um, especially with charity and things going on around the city. Veronica Buccilli is my guest, Riverhounds in-game host here in studio on Trib Live Radio. I'll Lots of great things coming up. I mean, I always say a Saturday night at Highmark Stadium is a beautiful way to spend an evening in the city of Pittsburgh with incomparable views. Uh Things got a little silly at the end of the game on Saturday night, but it still that shouldn't scare anybody away from going and hanging out. You got lots of great things coming up. Uh, a busy time of the season. Hopefully, the bad weather is behind Hopefully. the River Hounds, and we get some more pretty nights coming up and good evenings to spend out there. So I see you guys have lots of stuff planned to. Uh, Uh, make an already attractive option even better for fans and families that are thinking about coming out. Exactly. I mean, if you haven't been to Highmark Stadium, the view is incredible. Um, It's such a beautiful place um, to look at the city and it's right in Station Square. So it's really convenient for people to come out. Um, You know, coming to a game is like an average of $11 to get a ticket. So, I mean, it's just a great night out for everybody. Um, Like you said, we do, um, we do have like the pub there as well. So it is a, and now starting to go to that being open, not just during during game days. That has been what they've done. That nice little pub, nice TVs in there, good selection of beers. Now it's not just going to be open on game days. Correct. It's going to be open Monday through Friday from 4 to 9.30. We'll offer, you know, a happy hour from 4 to 6, which will be the half off that Golden Hound beer. Which is good. Yes. (laughs) I've had it as well. It's really (laughs) good. Um, So basically, it's just a really beautiful venue. Um, We're doing like a get fit night. So for anyone who... Not interested. (laughs) Anyone who likes to be active, unlike Mike, (laughs) um, you guys are welcome to come down. Um, when are you guys having a laying on the couch night? Um, you know, we just celebrate those people every game. All right, fair enough. So you're welcome anytime. Fair enough. Yeah. Like, Tell me about Get Fit Night. Couch potato. Um, no, so Get Fit Night is May 21st, so you'll basically get $3 off a ticket if you ride your bike. Hmm. Um, so that's just kind of, you know, enticing people a little bit to get a little more active. Um, and it's a great place to ride your bike down there as, as well. So. Sure. If, if you like to ride bikes, you don't. So sure. you're uninterested. Of course but for I do. Everyone else. Riding my bike down for the, yeah. See, I'm looking more at June 18th, which is beer and brats right. night. That's more my speed. Okay, Veronica. we'll talk about that then. For Mike, right. um, June 18th is our beer and brats night. So it's like, you know, we're we're inviting fathers and sons to come spend quality time. Father's Day weekend. Exactly. Father's Day weekend. Um, 
June 18th. Now, if you're not a father or son, you're also welcome. But um, yeah, so it's Beer and Frost Night. It's going to be great. Um, So basically, we offer these theme nights. Last week, we had a superhero night, which was really great. We were honoring um, the heroes of breast cancer awareness and those survivors. So we had a great turnout for that. And we just want to continue with fun things like that throughout the season. Um, Just make it more about, you know, the Pittsburgh community and getting people out and to see the beautiful venue and also soccer, which is also a fun, um, a fun thing too. A nice part of it. A nice part of the it. Soccer exactly. fans also like, but you've already got the soccer fans' interest. What you want to do is get more families and kids yeah. and stuff like that. And it's a great spot to do that affordable night out Definitely. for the family. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, wanted to talk about the U.S. Open Cup because this was such a big uh, interest in the Riverhounds. In my experience, had never been higher than it was when DC United came to town for a U.S. Open Cup match last year. The MLS team, uh, over 4,000 people packed into Highmark Stadium. Uh, a, a great match that went to extra time. Eventually, D.C. did end up winning and defeating the Riverhounds and eliminating from that tournament. But it was a great run and a great showcase for soccer in Pittsburgh. Getting underway with the U.S. Open Cup yet again Wednesday, May 18th will be their first game in the U.S. Open Cup this year. A couple of titans awaiting the Riverhounds. On May 11th, there will be a match between the Lansdowne Boys and the Long Island Rough Riders. The winner of that will move on to take on the Pittsburgh Riverhounds on May 18th in U.S. Open Cup. Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah. I have never witnessed um, a U.S. Open Cup before, so and I've heard great things. And I have, you know, with it being s- still early in the season, um, I think the boys are really hungry to, sure. you know, just perform well and get some wins in and and just really fight for for what they, you know, for a win for a W. So hopefully, um, this U.S. Open Cup will go in our favor, um, and I'm really excited to watch it all play out. Yeah, it was uh, a great stepping off point for them last year as well they also got off to a bit of a slow start in the regular season last year and it seemed like they gained some confidence and some momentum during the the period of the u.s open cup run so if things aren't turned around for the big club in usl by then that's always something well i guess it's only going to be next week so there's not that much time to anyway uh (laughs) that could be another chance to uh get things turned around and build some momentum for definitely it's only six games into the season still a heck of a lot of time left for the riverhounds to turn around we will be talking with matt grubba of the tribune review about what went on saturday night in just a little while and all the fallout from that but we're talking about the positives and getting people out there to see it It, they won't all turn out like that like they did on saturday night another (laughs) one you wanted to mention always a great cause first responder night also coming up at highmark Stadium. yes on june 4th and this is um just amazing to honor our first responders um i have a lot of you know, people who are in uh, the military and, you know, who are cops. And I just think it's so amazing, um, especially in light of things that have been happening in the media and around the world with um, with the um, police officers, that we honor them and th- know that they are respected here around the city. And it's just another way to get the community to come out and interact. And like I said, it just, we want to, we're all Pittsburghers here. And we, you know, I, I especially love my city. So I would like to see everyone come out and honor um, our first responders on June f- on June 4th. June 4th, June 18th, May 18th, May 21st. Mm-hmm. Pretty much every game coming up, there's going to be something special oh, planned at Highmark Stadium. Go to riverhounds.com for more details about all the events that are coming up. And Veronica and the and the staff from the Riverhounds were kind enough to bring in some tickets for the next home game at Highmark Stadium, Saturday, May 21st, against Toronto FC, if I'm not mistaken. Email us at sportstalk at tribweb.com. Put Riverhounds in the subject line and your name and address in the body of the email for your chance to win. Even if you don't, if you if you listen to the podcast tomorrow or Wednesday, whatever it might be, we won't draw this until later on in the week. So you've got plenty of time to get in your entry. Sports talk at tribweb.com. Riverhounds in the subject line, name and address in the body of the email for your chance to win tickets to the next Riverhounds game at Highmark Stadium Saturday night. May 21st. Pittsburgh Riverhounds in-game host Veronica Buccilli. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for having for me. For coming up and telling yes. us about what's going on with the team. It had to have been a very interesting weekend for everybody very involved with the Pittsburgh Riverhounds yes. and looking forward to putting 
that behind and moving on to the more Absolutely. positives of the remainder of the season. Absolutely. You're a delight as always, Thank Veronica. You, Mike. Thank you for coming up. We'll talk to you again soon. We'll see you at Highmark Stadium. All right, Mike. See you there. All right, Matt Grubba, Riverhounds beat writer for the Tribune Review, will be joining me in studio shortly. This is the Pittsburgh Soccer Podcast. I'm Mike Graw on Trib Live Radio.